guys. Okay, so I wanted to come to you guys and talk about something that has really, really, really been on my mind heavily. And I'm kind of late to the conversation just because I... I don't know if you guys know this about me, but my professional life, like my profession, well, my degrees, well, one of my, my master's degree is PR, corporate communication. Um, so I work in the field of public relations. I <laughs> So I handle a lot of sensitive information and uh, I like to really, really, really wait before I speak on things just because I know how I would feel if I was the person behind some of these fiascos that have been happening in the media like literally every day I sit there and I see these things happen and I, I say I'm so glad I'm not the PR people behind this right now I'm so glad I'm not working on this but I just gotta talk about it I have to talk about it because I got a couple of questions especially like on snapchat and things because if you guys do follow do follow me on snapchat I'll put that below uh, I will respond a lot more quickly on snapchat than I will here sometimes and even on Instagram which I also respond pretty quickly to my direct messages on Instagram but snapchat because I have my notification set on my phone I see it but um I've got a lot of questions because if you guys have followed me from the beginning one of the brands that I like rock for like I, I really like stand for almost was Shea Moisture and a lot of people are like so Chelsea's Shea Moisture canceled and at first I was just so busy that I didn't see all the Shea Moisture stuff but baby when I did when I did, honey, <sighs> let me just say this. Yes, Shea Moisture is canceled, but not solely because of the campaign, not solely because of what they did um, in their advertising and their promotional stuff. That's that's not I'll get into why they're canceled, which I guess kind of does tie in. Um so you guys, I'm sure, unless you've been living under a rock, you already know what happened with that campaign. And I want to say this, I, because my profession is PR and because I deal a lot in marketing in the promotional world, um, or I, I did in more marketing than I do now, you know, anyway, um, but because I've studied it and I've worked in it, I understand the need or the desire to reach a broader audience. I get it I get that completely uh, so I, I understand what they were trying to do but they did it poorly um, it was very distasteful and I've seen a lot of people say well I feel like this is tone deaf and that's correct um, and I say that because what you when you're trying to reach a broader audience what you don't want to do is alienate who is your target audience um because what you're trying to do is reach new people but you can't really just disregard the people who are currently your bread and butter these are your core people and once you lose those people because you're trying to get new adapters that's a problem you know and i feel like that's what shea moisture did they really disregarded the people who got them to where they are to where they're able to try to reach a broader audience uh and when i saw the advertisement i was confused i was confused because i've seen a lot of women in and men in the natural hair community who were supposed to be involved in those campaigns like i would see like the behind the scenes so these are the people that i was expecting to see and then when I saw the ads and it was a completely different demographic, y'all know what I'm talking about. I was very confused. I was, I was very confused. And then it's like a light bulb went off and this is why they're canceled. You guys know I've been rocking with Shea Moisture. Curlin Hansen Smoothie has been my jam since I went natural. And it gave me like just the most luscious, defined, moisturized curls. But within the last maybe year maybe not that long I, I don't like it anymore and I don't know I remember feeling even up until recently like I hate my hair and like I made the video that I hate my hair and I was considering cutting my hair and all these things because my hair just wasn't doing what I wanted to do and I kept buying the curling hair smoothie and thinking 
if this doesn't work in my hair, then seriously, something's wrong with my hair. Like, something's going wrong with my hair. And when I saw the ad, I was like, y'all change the formula. And I wasn't the only one. I saw so many people like, y'all changed it. Y'all changed it. And it had never occurred to me that maybe it's not my hair. Maybe it's the product. And maybe you change the product because you're trying to reach more hair types. Don't do that. I'm sorry. Don't do it. I'm not telling you to alienate any group of people. But once I have a product that I love and it's my jam, you change it. It no longer works for me. Okay, it no longer works for me. I'm no longer going to purchase it. And you have lost your target core. Like you've lost that loyalty. It's gone. It's now gone. And the thing that I've noticed, is it raining again? Okay, anyway, the thing that I've noticed is on their social media, I guess their, their plan now is to address that heavily, um, especially on Twitter. Like they're constantly responding to people. No, we didn't change our formulas. Stop, li stop lying. Like if you did something on up to it and we're not stupid, we're not, I'm sorry, we're not stupid. Um, if I've used something for years and years and years and it's worked and then all of a sudden it stopped working, you think I'm that dumb? Like stop telling, <sighs> You're canceled. You're canceled. You're canceled. You're canceled. Because, okay, yes, you pulled the ad. But what else have you done to try to rectify the situation? Not much. Sorry, not much. You've done a little, but not much. Not enough. And you're canceled. I'm not buying it. It is what it is. It doesn't work anyway. Why am I going to go out and buy something that doesn't work anymore? Like, I think I had, like, one little jar that had, like, a corner of some old Curl and Hansen smoothie. That might work, but I'm not buying your new stuff. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And it doesn't seem like you really are concerned with me buying it anyway because you're looking for your new adapters. I don't have time. You're canceled. Goodbye.